Hello, my name is Emma Allen, and today I'll be reading to you from my new book, The Great Book Swapping Machine. Fabio lived on the edge of the outback, beside a highway on, a family's wheat, on his family's wheat farm. Not many people ever stopped off at Fabio's house. Nothing around here, they said. Then, late one night, a thing landed. It appeared next to the letterbox without warning. Fabio knew at once it was important. But his dad called it space junk and rang the space agency to ask them to take it away. The thing leaned apologetically, as if it understood it looked out of place. There was a hatch at the side. Fabio opened it and climbed in. He found a book on the pilot seat. A Daydreamer's Guide to the Galaxy. Fabio took it home and sat up late into the night, reading and learning. By the morning, Fabio was ready to fly. He climbed into the machine and pulled the red lever. It shuddered and heaved. But nothing happened. Fabio threw the book from the hatch. The next morning, the book was gone. He found a girl reading it in the shade of the thing's belly. You, gasped Fabio, you stole my book. He recognised her yellow bike. She was the farm from the farm next door. Leela Thistlethwaite. I borrowed it, she said, here. She handed him a bigger, fatter book. Poems for flying at night. A book swap, said Fabio. He liked the idea. He liked it a lot. The thing shuddered politely as if it liked the idea too. Meanwhile, the space agency came with important tape. Keep out, it shouted. The next morning, Fabio opened the hatch. Hello, said a voice. It was Leela. She was already choosing her next book. This old thing is lonely, said Fabio. It needs more people. Leela agreed. She had an idea. They made a big sign with red paint. The great book swapping machine. They put it on the highway. The thing shuddered happily as if it might actually fly. Meanwhile, the space agency sent three inspectors wearing sunglasses. That afternoon, two cars, one motorbike and one bus stopped at the sign. Everybody admired the book swapping machine. They all agreed to swap some books. A bikey called Vespa left highway heists. Some tourists donated books about maps, walking trails and outback poetry. And the president of the Country Women's Association left some jam and a cookbook. The Watson kids left behind some superhero comics and a book about wild desert animals. Everybody chose a book to take home. Fabio was so happy that he painted the hatch bright orange. Meanwhile, the space agency put up their own sign. Soon, the thing became famous. Jed Watson had his fourth birthday under its belly. Vespa donated a deck chair. The bus driver swapped an old CD player for a book on how to start a scout club. Leela grew some flowers around the main antenna. And the thing grew fat and content. One day, the space agency called. We are coming next week, they said. Save our machine, cried the members of the new scout club. Vespa tied his deck chair to the landing legs. The bus driver spray painted his bus. The ladies from the Country Women's Association made some tea and the Watsons started a petition. 
Fabio thought about all the books they had collected. Then he had an idea. When the junk collector arrived from the space agency, Fabio was ready. Please, sir, he said, this is not space junk. He thought very hard. It's a library. A library, shouted the Watsons. A library, cheered the ladies from the Country Women's Association. A street library, said Fabio, in the outback. It is a great book swapping machine, added Leela. At exactly three o'clock, a very important woman from the space agency appeared. Fabio's dad showed her the petition. The space agency has come to a decision, said the woman through the loudspeaker. The space junk can stay where it is. Everybody cheered, even Vespa, who was halfway through Poms for Night Travelers. That night, alone with the thing, Fabio pulled the red lever. It shuddered and sighed. Then it landed next to the letterbox just as it had the first time. Fabio was filled with wonder. It was generally believed that the street library never flew again. Instead, it retired happily with a quiver and a sigh. What book would you put in the book swapping machine? This one. I love this one. It's called Carrie McQuarrie's Barn. The biggest barn ever. I would choose Harry Potter 5 because when you read it, it's like you're in a whole nother world and you feel like you're really there. All the characters are really funny and especially Ron Weasley. It's Naughty Little Pony. It's about a snail and the way. It says humpback whale. It says humpback whale. This is the Treehouse series. I like it because it's really funny and it has hundreds of adventures in it. If I could choose any book to go in the book class swapping machine, I would choose Bad Guys by uh, Aaron Blaby. They're awesome. I would put Marie Curie into a book swapping machine because she is sciencey and it, it, the book is exciting.